There we go. I'll blame it on the cats. <laughs> Bad cats. Now we have sound. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew Wednesday edition, where we go back and play games we've played before. But this time we're playing it for a purpose. Um, I'm James. This is... Tanya. <laughs> oh, the microphone's really far away this time. Let's just adjust that a little bit. Um, today we're going to be playing um, this game, Super Cobra Arcade. And we are going to be playing it because there is a homebrew, homebrew competition happening um, this month and subsequent months, a different game each time. Um, got your volume turned down there? Nope. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, hello, Arena Foot. Hello, Dan. Um, welcome to the show. These are people in the chat. If you want to join in the chat, just type words in Twitch because you're watching it on Twitch right now. Mm -hmm. Or you can leave messages on YouTube if you're watching it later. Um, yeah, I, somebody, uh, I think Arena Foot, let me know about this competition that is happening uh, for high scores. Um, and it is being put on by, no, I can't remember the name. It's like a really long name somebody likes in television or something. Oh, now I'll have to bring it up somehow. Anyway, if somebody can type it in there, um, that would be awesome. But this, uh, we've played this game. This was actually the first ever game we played on a zero page homebrew. Mm. The first day, the first game. Uh, and that's when we had a terrible setup. <laughs> <laughs> and the audio was off and everything was terrible. And everything's much better now. Mm -hmm. And actually, I just got a new computer today. And if you notice, I can now add the webcam, which is mm -hmm. focused on the Atari 2600. Oh, can you put your hand in there? Yeah. Oh, there's a... Yeah, okay, good. just want to see if the, the delay is correct. It's hard to tell. It's close enough. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I think I did get it right. Um, so you can see, you know, what game we're playing, the box there. You can see the 2600. You can see the cartridge in there. So add a little bonus. Uh, oh, there it is. Lid likes Intev. Intev. Lid likes Intev. That's who's hosting the homebrew competition. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a different game each month, and this is the first game. So this is a shooter, uh, side-scrolling shooting game, mm -hmm. uh, mostly in caves. I don't think we made it outside of a cave last time. It's very challenging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the scores, some people have already um, put some scores in, um, in the competition. I don't, oh, there he is. I don't think he's eligible to win, the person who's hosting it. Lid likes in television. Um, but he has a very high score. <laughs> so I guess the goal is still to beat his high score. <laughs> well, the, the goal is, yeah. Yep. Um, okay. But I don't think he's in competition because the winner of everything gets a game from uh, Atari Age. Oh, okay. Very cool. So there is incentive Yes. to win. So I'm going to let you uh, go first. Thank you, because as per <laughs> usual, I've never played this game before, <laughs> so I'm sure I'm going to do stellar. <laughs> Pretty much, but, um, the goal of the game is to shoot everything and don't run into anything. Okay. Beyond that, you do have fuel. That you have to shoot the fuel. Okay. Um, so that you don't run out of fuel and crash. You shoot the fuel, so if you shoot the fuel, it's like... You replenish your... Yeah, we made jokes about yeah, that okay. last time. <laughs> Pe people were like, you're it crazy. It just like, transports from the air into your into your helicopter well, it, it or like it evaporates is. and you suck it up through yeah. the air. Mm -hmm. um, you filter it out of the it's air. It's like transporter technology, but you have to shoot something at it to That's right, open activate it up. It and so then, you can, okay. because it has anti-transporter technology within it, okay. surrounding it. Did I see, did I see bombs? Yeah, this, you started before I was finished. Okay. But the second button, the C button oh. drop, drops bombs. Because ah. they're using uh, a, a Genesis, a oh. Sega Genesis controller. Um, <laughs> which has which is three buttons, and you can program one of the buttons to be a second Atari 2600 button. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear. Oh, let's see. What is happening? Oh, because I haven't switched over. And you started playing. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Well, now that's why I started over. playing. So you, <laughs> so know. you prompt me to, yeah. to get moving. No, keep going. I'm not. I'm not done talking yet. <laughs> you keep talking. <laughs> um, so the second place, uh, which is actually the top scorer besides the guy who's running it, is Gray Defender with thirty-three thousand four hundred and fifty. So that's really the score to beat. Okay. Um, so you have five hundred. <laughs> so you just need sixty times that score. <laughs> gotcha. So just do 60 times as good, and you'll be just fine. Oh, you can... And if you go lower to the ground, you'll be able to shoot more bullets because it'll take less time to get your bullets gotcha. back. Gotcha. Because now you have to wait for those two to hit. Yeah. But you get the fuel, which was good. a little better. Microphone is way too high, way too far away. So, and I believe continues now left. are totally fine. Let me just see. Because you start from zero. So it's actually, you'll probably get a higher score if you don't continue. Because you'll be starting in a harder place. There we go. Okay, seven rounds. Uh, one homebrew every month starting June 1st. So this is the first one. So we're halfway through the month. Um, you can get up to 70 points. So 10 points for first place. And ascending down from there. Uh, play in post home how much you ever you want. Your last and biggest score will be computed. Uh, but you're encouraged to play and post your scores as you improve. It's more fun to see everyone's progress with the game. How to post or prove your, prove your score. Except if you're taking first place with your new score, you're not required to post a pic or screenshot, just your score in the game's thread. Although you're encouraged to show your score with a nice screenshot or photo. Well, we'll provi be providing video evidence <laughs> with two cameras. So hopefully that'll work. Might get better. Yay! Sort of. <laughs> sort of better? Uh, play on real hardware or use an emulator. All right. I mean, it passed the first stage out of 10. Uh, from the 6507 to the newest supercomputer, choose a classic Atari controller or grab a Genesis gamepad. It's all up to you. Just have fun and play fair. No turbo controllers or any modification or function that gave you unfair advantage over a real Atari. So even a pause by emulation or hardware is forbidden. Only fresh scores, no previous scores allowed. You must achieve your score during the game's month. Uh, play fair, no cheats, no bug exploits, point scumming, etc. So how are you doing? 1,890 points. Did you restart? <laughs> Did oh. you continue, I mean? Oh, uh, continue, yeah. Oh, okay. Are we allowed to continue or no? Yeah, you can continue. It starts with zero. Are you going to keep going? <laughs> so there's the instructions if you want okay. to read those uh i'm guessing we're supposed to play in standard that's what i'm guessing it... oh continues are allowed arena foot says which okay makes Good. sense because it starts from zero again does it uh yeah your score does it so, yeah are you sure <laughs> we'll see I remember we'll see <laughs> I, I i think it continued my score okay but I could be. I wasn't paying that much attention. Okay, cat. Perfect timing. Yep, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a scoring <laughs> competition. So it's in best interest to shoot absolutely everything for as many points as possible. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Um... If you want to read out about the game, for those who don't know anything about the game, starting the objective? at the top. Or just, just the starting, whole thing? Starting from the top. Alright. Uh, Super Cobra Arcade by John W. Shumpel. Um... Or Champo, I'm not or really Champo. sure. Depends if he's <laughs> anglicized it. Yes. Uh, invade the base and carry away the booty. The booty! <laughs> Get that booty. Get that booty. Pilot your helicopter across 10,000 miles of challenging terrain. Vaporize enemy depo depots. Depots. <laughs> depots. 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 Vaporize en enemy depots and collect precious fuel to complete your mission. Armed with cannons and bombs, strafe ground targets and take out airborne enemies. Tanks, guided missiles, falling mines, spinning drones, and homing meteors assault you at every turn. Invade the enemy base and carry away the booty. The booty! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any booty yet, but... <laughs> no, I haven't seen any either. Um, maybe it's like right at the end. Oh! Right at That's the end good. of the game? No, it wasn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you made it to 6,000. It's not bad. But I should have been able to dodge that. Yeah. Oh, three arrow! Get them, get them! Better to get things on the ground. And it's a good strategy to stay really low. Yeah, um, no kidding. The bombing is definitely better than the shooting as oh, far yeah. as uh, you just want to keep bombing. Pretty much. Yeah. Because there's so many hills, you don't get a chance you to, to even navigate. shoot them. You have to navigate. Yeah, it's so true. Except in this level, which is not inside a cave. Oh, Ooh, be... that's pretty. Oh, I went right for it. Boo. The buttons are right beside each other. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So. Ooh. Oh. They, like, dive bomb you. Um, Those must be the, uh, where, 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 what did they call them here? Homing meteors. They don't really dive on you, they just shoot yeah, across the screen and you happen to be quickly. trying to shoot them so they're yeah. at the same level as you. Yeah. Ah! Definitely more challenging level. Oh, good. One more life. Yes. Because there's things on the ground. Hopefully they... Have been, I don't think they've been shooting up. Oh my god! I'm just trying to fire at them. Okay, 1140... 460. Continue. Oh, the other button, I guess. Okay. 11460. Oh, no. See, no, it continued. Zero. Starts at zero. Oh, right okay. at the top. No points. I guess I was just increasingly getting better at it. So my <laughs> score was going up from where I left off. That's funny. Oh. Oh. oh, that's quite a full level. But I don't want to start from here. It's too hard to get... Uh... Probably get more points, though, starting... Later on, um, I don't know. Depends how many points those guys are. But I don't. But I won't last as long. Uh, ten points each. No, more than no, four points. I'm already at two thousand. Hundred and ten. Never be able to get that many. Uh, about five hundred, maybe. Two fifty, five hundred. Each? No. I can't. You're you're killing <laughs> too many of them too fast for me to to. Hundred. To do that kind of uh, oh. subtraction in my head. Um. No, about 100, 200. Well, my score is quite a bit, actually. So maybe it's not too bad to continue. James already beat my score, says Arena Foot. <laughs> what? What? Uh... Arena Foot, get your shit together. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I just barely started playing. Oh, come on. Well, you have another half month. You're usually... On par or better than me at these games. Ah, Dan ABC says in rule five for prizes, Lid says fair or not, I am eligible, so beat me if you can. He's eligible? <laughs> what? Yeah, good luck. Okay, good luck beating his score. Yes, and difficulty to play standard, so. Oh, okay, standard. Yeah. But how is he gonna award him himself his own prize? when he picks and chooses his games that he's know. awesome at. He's obviously awesome at this game. Well, yeah, that's true. Because 100,000... He still 000, has to prove it, so... He's way above everyone else's score. <laughs> like, he's at 100,000, the next person's at 33. Doing pretty good now. 
11,000. That beat my old score. Yeah, Rena Foote said 11,460. So, that's his score? I'm guessing this. <laughs> okay. I seem to remember I did really bad at this game when we played it um, the first time. I don't know what those are. I seem to remember getting those. Getting to those. Oh, I was watching the stuff at the top. Is that it? No. Nope. Still two more, one more life. Pretty good. Yeah. I think I'll shoot that. <laughs> they come down? Oh, they do. That's not too... Oh! oh! I think there's a a barrier how far forward you can fly. Yeah, halfway the screen, and that was the problem. I couldn't go forward anymore. And I was trying to avoid the bullet by going forward around it. Fuel really hasn't been... Ah. Oh, yeah, that's, an issue. it's really tight there. Um, Can you type my score? 14120. It's just easier. Just type it right there. Mm. Okay, so it does continue, but it goes to the title screen. Okay, cool. your turn. Yeah. No, no, this is the hard level. <laughs> oh, the free, man, oh, man. The free game is at the end of the entire contest. Yeah, he already has a lead on everyone by getting a 10 points. Maybe you should ask him about that rule. Uh, I tried playing this game using the Wiko uh, joystick. Wasn't great. We're using my Genesis or with e Eladdin? Eladdin. Eladdin adapter? Why do you need an Eladdin adapter for 2600 a game? What? Maybe I'm thinking of a a different adapter. What is the Aladdin adapter that you're talking about? I know they make those big um, arcade joysticks. Now that that would be good to play with. That is definitely something I do want to buy eventually. Is one of their uh, uh, arcade um, double joystick uh, things that work with Coleco and Atari. Oh, you played it on the 7800. Okay. 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 That makes sense. Unless they give you a fighting chance and they don't drop those right on you during the really narrow parts. Well, they kind of do. Ah! <laughs> Just go forward. <laughs> <laughs> you kept pace with it. I know, but I, I, I did that, that hesitation of forward or back, forward or back. Yes. Uh, either would have been fine. <laughs> so this game comes with a really nice poster. Super Cobra Arcade poster, a folded 14 by 11 and a half, and comes with a Super Cobra Arcade comic. I don't want to block your view. <laughs> oh, oh, into the building, the underground building. You're distracting building. me. <laughs> That's right. Distracting me. Blame me. it on me. I am. I think we read this out when we played it the first time. If you want to see our first terrible playthrough, oh, uh, you go back to the very first one. Keep going. I need practice. <laughs> True. I, 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 I haven't still got the hang of things here. So where did you get in the instructions? Oh. A bonus chopper is awarded at 10,000 points and every mm. 50,000 points. Uh, points are scored for traveling a certain distance and destroying enemy installations. Additional fuel is gained by destroying fuel tanks. Player starts with three helicopters. Uh, okay, novice standard, advanced expert, and somebody confirmed that this is standard, this game, uh, to play it for the competition, which makes sense. That's what uh, happens on load up. Two button support with Genesis compatible gamepad. Um, I didn't hear any um, Atari Vox voices, but it does use the save key. Um, so it didn't use any voices. But it's, it did say save key installed. Uh, Built-in pause feature, which says, which you're not allowed to use. Um, everyone gets points for the entire contest. Ten place, uh, first place gets 10 points. Uh, second gets nine, third gets eight, and I guess if you participate, you get one point. 
Yes, I'm guessing. I actually assumed that the Genesis controller just worked out of the box on the 7800, but obviously they do not. That's interesting. Does it have two button support through the Elada? That's really cool. Uh, Super Cobra poster, Nathan Strom's beautiful artwork is featured on a 10 by 14. That's a complete game over. There, Atari Vox support. Oh, was it? <laughs> it was a complete no game continue. over. No continue. So there is a limit to the number of continues, even though oh. your score goes back to zero. Oh, um, oh they see there's there, how many points? It's right there. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, yeah. So it is 100 for those little, little homing meteors. Oh, okay. 150 Fuel. for other mm. some other ones. Okay. Let's give it a try. Let's see how far I can get. Atari Box support. If you have an Atari Box or save key plugged into joystick port 2, up to do. 10 high scores are saved for each skill level. Okay. The current skill level is also saved. To reset the high score table for the current skill level while on the score score ranking screen, press and hold reset, then press select. All scores are reset to 10,000 points. Okay. So, by the sound of things, you have to get at least 10,000 points to end up on the scoreboard, which yes. I don't <laughs> believe I've had the opportunity to do yet, so. Uh, oh, no. Terrible. Terrible. Super Cobra Arcade is a melody-enhanced game that takes full advantage of the CDF mode in the melody. I don't know what that means. That is a chip. Okay. Uh, Super Cobra Arcade includes a box, game cartridge, beautifully illustrated 8-page manual, and a 10-inch by 14-inch poster featuring the Super Cobra Arcade box artwork. Ava available in NTSC and PAL-60 television formats, please select above. If you do not select an option, you will receive an NTSC cartridge by the <laughs> This is obviously... <laughs> this, you obviously I kind of pasted this directly from the From website. the store. <laughs> um, it's $50 US. Um, <laughs> and there's no non-box option. Um, so if you don't want a box, do that. You have to have a box. Um, there's actually a debate... Um, in the forums, not a debate, but a discussion in the forums, right? Right now, that was pretty new, and it was made, it was done by the creator of, who, who was it? Damn it. But he, he has a game in the store right now, and he was a little worried about the low number of sales that he's had, and he was, oh, it was the guy who did, um, that matching game. What is it? What's that called? Remember that matching game we played? I do not remember the name, but I remember the game. Okay. The game was Assembloids. Really good. Assembloids. Assembloids. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and that was he, a fun game. And he was just a little upset about the sales. I think it was under 50, he said. He's oh, only from sold. the... Oh, okay. Um, and he was thinking, oh, maybe it's because of you have to buy a box. And because the price mm. was really, really high. Because the, usually with a box, I think it... Oh, my God. Starts out around 45 minimum with oh, boxes and goes up to like 60 sometimes, depending on the options. As oh, I gotta st just stay out of their way. Oh 40 to 60 US? US. Yeah. Which, you know, is, is a lot uh, for some people. Um, and they would rather just, some, I know pe some people would just rather have the mm -hmm. cartridge and, and play the game and not need all the, mm -hmm. the fanciness and, and having to store store the box somewhere. Ah. So these guys don't go after you, just... Oh, that was close. Mm -hmm. Just avoid them. Yay! Free life. Which I Good desperately job. need. Good job. Oh, and I have you had one some already. left. Yeah. This is a crazy level. It is. There's things is, shooting it is from the ground. Quite chaotic. Like... I'm sure. I'm sure it gets even harder, but <laughs> this this does seem quite a chaotic level, especially with those guys zooming zooming at you. Yes. Good job. Can you read? Oh, oh I have my own too. <laughs> okay. Um, Wherever you want to read it, but I just don't want to leave it hanging there. I want to participate in the discussion? I was paying attention to my game before. Arena Foot so that everyone gets points for the entire contest? I read that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Uh, 
Dan ABC says, I have a feeling that Lids will get the highest points after the contest ends. <laughs> yes, he will. <laughs> uh, and he also says, for games like uh, Robotron on the 7800 or Pole Position 2 that uses two buttons, um, the Ed Edladen adop adapter is needed for Genesis controllers. If you plug it in straight, the far buttons will be used as single buttons instead of two separates. Okay. So you need the adapter to make the buttons work. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that is something very good to have then. That's for sure. Yeah, I will have to definitely pick one of those up. 17,550! Oh, you're doing good! Is it a free life every 10,000? That would be very nice to get. <laughs> Good. Yeah, what's the scores? What are the... So, well, Lid Likes and Television is well, 118,540. Grey Defender, 33,450. Yes. Uh, really Brett, 25,270. Okay. Uh, Retro Goober, 22,410. Ugh. Oh, uh, how could I have got that guy? I guess I should have... Uh, Keru Yojimbo. Can you type this one? 19,120. 19,120? Yes, please. Before it, before it's gone. Yeah, I think I'll continue just to practice this level. Sorry, where, where was mine in the scores? Third, fourth. You were fifth. nineteen, one twenty. Uh, fifth at the moment. Terrible. Fifth. Terrible. I would like to end up on the board. <laughs> Like you are on the more board. Than, no, more than ten thousand. <laughs> like on the on oh, the on high the, scoreboard. On, on the game be, high scoreboard. On the game high score, I'd be pretty happy if I get over ten thousand. That's going to be my goal. Okay. I, I can't see myself getting too much past that. I think you could get ten thousand. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a practice. Yeah. If you have to make it to level two, like a little bit into level two, while shooting a lot of stuff too. Yeah. You can't just. Now I'm going to start from the beginning every time. <laughs> Are you getting more points from the beginning, you figure? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And so it's easier. Do you think Lid Likes and Television's score of 118,000, he made it right through to the 10th um, yeah, level? I think he did. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a high score. Or very, very close. It's, it's you know... Four times? Oh, those things flash just before they fall. Okay. My phone doesn't want to recognize me. <laughs> My phone doesn't want to rec Okay. Yeah. Use your uh, uh, fingerprints. No. Depends. Might be your it right hand just, or left was, hand. No, but it was just working. Oh, well. Use the pattern then. Sometimes when you press it too many times and do it, it wrong, gets a it... little confused. Whoa, yeah. the tank's moving! Oh, cute! Oh my gosh, they move <laughs> ah, fast. They do, like oh. really fast. Those wow, are that's really, really cool. fast tanks. Um, <laughs> no, because I mean the the person with the second highest score is, you know, a quarter, a quarter his score. Well, not a quarter, a third. A third. I mean, um, third, a third ish, getting to a quarter. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he, he must have made it pretty far along. I think so. I made it to level three with 17,000? Yeah. Well, this is six. It's good to keep playing to see the, the future sure. levels. <laughs> well, no, I mean, uh, then you know looking. how to approach what's coming next. So, yeah, you know, you might as well keep playing worse for a little bit. Than getting to a level and dying and immediately. And then you just, yeah, exactly. Like in Panky the Panda when we were playing. Oh gosh! It would take three minutes minimum to every get to, time you die. Yes. To get to the thing you need to practice on to finish the game. Yeah. And he was like, "Oh, I get to try this once, and then wait." And then wait five yeah. minutes. Well, more than five minutes. It was more than. I think five we timed minutes. it to three and a half. Did we? From the from check the last point. save point, the last checkpoint. Yeah, last checkpoint to the last guy. Oh yeah, that was something. And else. It was just torturous. Yeah. Oh, 
And he just keeps following. <gasps> I think, too, you don't want to be too distracted by him. Like It does keep you kind of where you were in the level, too. I think. I think it does. Oh, good job. Yeah, you do want to... Yeah. So it close. It gets really narrow. You have to be really precise. Oh, die tanks. No, not like that. <laughs> he, not he, like you that. will kill him if you run into him, but... So. Yes, we need to get those tanks right away. Oh, and that one didn't move. I don't think all of them do. Oh, good 6, job. 6,000. Oh, level 6. Okay. On to level 7. Whoa, whoa. whoa. You can't do anything about those. No, you can't shoot them? Nope. You just have to avoid them? Oh, you can shoot that one. <gasps> oh, my because goodness. Because he's a little different. And there's stuff on the bottom mm. coming at you shooting at you. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is that is pretty intense. It's, it's not as bad because there's no, there's the maze isn't there yeah. to dodge. It's what? just it's it's just different. You get used to it. And just keep bombing too. Because it Mostly is... you have to pay attention to the top of the screen Yeah, I was going to say, one. it does make you feel a little motion sick, those things flying at you like that. Well, that was... That was... That's not bad. Yeah. That's not a bad level. Uh, that one's pretty simple. Once you get Hard used zone. to it. Oh, these guys are, like, staying just out of range. Like, they're... Oh. Like, they won't stay right in, in line with you? Well... It's They're harder to line of... yourself up to, to hit them, right? Oh, yes, it is. And they, they are pretty, um, but they are, they pretty kind random of stay... in how they move. They kind of stay out of the way, though. They stay, but then they, they jump around. That's interesting. How many continues did I have? A couple. I think it's like... Left, you uh, mean? Yes, continues left. Yeah, I was paying attention. Ah! <laughs> Mm. So I'm almost at level 10. I well, yeah, I was going to say, play. that's what I mean. Like, if this you can will. see what's coming up ahead. It's not an easy level. No, it's not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't ignore the chat. I know. The poor chat. Oh, my goodness, this is hard. There's a lot of things happening on the screen. Harder than the last one? Oh, yeah. It, their, their, their motion just, is really random, too. Like, those, really those fireballs would just come straight for you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. The one thing I've noticed is you don't seem to have too much trouble with um, getting enough fuel. Because no, you're just strafing the ground, and you just get enough fuel along the way that you just, you know, you, yeah. you haven't gone down to zero. Not even close. Well, I've never even heard, like, a beeping or... Well, when I... The first... Ah. The first game I played... This is a hard level. Two left. Two left. Um, I did get down to, like, almost nothing. Did you? Yeah, but I was still figuring out how to... <laughs> press buttons. Press buttons, yeah. Yeah. What games do you normally play? You, Me? You, you oh, play Fallout? I thought you were asking. No, not the chat. <laughs> I thought you were asking. They the play chat. Atari games. Uh, <laughs> what games do I normally play? Um, what have you played in the past year? Oh, in the last year. Well, I mean, we have a PS4. I play a lot off the PS4. I play Fallout 4. Um, lately, that's what I've been playing the most. Yes. Uh, I think I just hit level 35 yeah. um, covered most of the map there are some areas I haven't been to yet um, I tend to delay main quests to try and do a lot of side quests so I've been doing that quite a bit yeah. um, I have uh, what are we up to now Civ 6 can't right. remember I have Civ 
on the PC. Six and Civ 7 or Civ 5 and Civ 6 on Steam. Uh, anyway, the latest one. <laughs> That's a level? That was the level? That was the worst level yet. That was yet. nine? That was like the easiest, not worst, but easiest level. Oh, this looks challenging. This is 10. This is the base. You're in the base. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh. So they're they're forcing you to get as as, as many fuels as oh you can. Oh, my God. <gasps> That's going to be challenging. Uh, yeah, they're forcing fuel upon me. Uh, what other games do I play? Witcher? Oh, well, Witcher, yeah, Witcher 3 for a while. Um, that's what I was playing before Fallout 4. That was uh, stupid. Um, I mean... Mobile games. We do... Ah! Uh, mobile games. <laughs> play some mobile. Games. I, I, yeah, I play a bit of Hearthstone, but I'm not very good at it, and I tend to get creamed. Up, 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 up. What uh, am I supposed to do? <laughs> you have to go a lot faster than that. I couldn't. <laughs> oh, it starts you over right at the beginning. Yeah. Of course. Um, yeah, I'm terrible at Hearthstone. Oh, I was at the front of the screen. Drexel, that was a total Darcy crash. Yes. Hey. Hey, Drexel. <laughs> hey, Dars. <laughs> hey, Darcy. Ah, what? That one went so much faster than normal. I thought I had time to dodge it. I haven't been looking at my score because I know it's like not even. Oh. Oh. You just have to get down really fast. Oh. We're is it is it ahead. the control? No, 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 no. Are there easier It's the speed joysticks? of the No, 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 it's not the control. Oh. It's the speed of the screen and the speed of you and oh. you have to get ahead and then back up as you move down. Okay. Well, okay, it's over. Oh, okay. Well, this so I made it to the base. Yeah, the base. So, the tactics I've learned Stay very close to the ground, as close as you can, like within reason. Press both buttons at once. I usually I put oh, my really? thumb I put my thumb oh, on that it. That does work well. <laughs> I put my thumb on it so I don't have to press both at once. But I hold it differently. Well, I I my thumb isn't big enough. That's the one <laughs> thing I don't really like about this controller. I seem to have. It's it's easier for me to use. Uh, okay. Two fingers, which I know is not the way you're supposed to do it. Like, Still timed up. Everything's good. A little paranoid because I put in a new computer today and I had to reset up the, um, the timings because the, every computer is a little bit different with the speeds and the timings of each of the devices coming in because now I have two cameras, a video game system, and a microphone, and they all arrive at a different time to the computer with different latency. So you have to time all of them up. So you have to do some settings. What I do is I record it, put it into uh, Premiere, and measure the 60ths of a second away, and then add those milliseconds to the offset. And that's like, you can do it in one pass. And it's really, really easy. Still your first game? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, did I die once? I can't remember. What, you died once, yeah. So you're halfway there. Halfway to 10,000. Oh. Well, now that I know you just hit both buttons at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it is it a lot faster. It makes life a lot easier. And staying, to the, <laughs> staying to the ground, too, because your bombs are just, I, like, yeah, continuous. Yeah, I kind of figured that yeah. pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, you're killing lots of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, Although, my, my old computer was six years old, but um, it was a really good computer when I bought it because I bought it for video editing. Um, and I bought this one for video editing as well. So it's got um, two rated M2 256 gig um, cards, hard drives. Um, I just rate. I set this up. I I brought this computer home at 2 p.m. and I have it streaming at 7 p.m. It had nothing on it, not even Windows. <laughs> That's probably a pretty good record there. And I had it set up about an hour and a half before the broadcast. So I got it home at around 1.30 to, to 5.30, four hours. 
Not too bad. I don't have everything transferred over, but um, you're almost there. It's terrifying. Almost there to ten thousand. Yeah! Woo! Woo! You're well, on the board. I'm on the board. <laughs> On the video game board. Uh -huh. You were on the scoreboard before because somebody got 7,000, so. Oh, no. Yeah, I want the video game board. Somebody's so. wiggling their toes on the, on the webcam. Sorry. That is funny. Oh, can you see my... Is that your feet? Oh, no, it's my feet. Uh -huh. That's funny. Oh, I'm not wearing video game socks. Oh, this is like perfect sock cam. That is hilarious. You should have told me I would have worn <laughs> my... Well, I don't, I don't have video game socks. Uh, I have Totoro socks. The Totoro? Ugh. That's pretty geeky. This is terrible. 13,000 is not terrible. That's good. That's better than I'm before. Do you want to go? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, you can go ahead again if you Continue? want. Continue? Wait. One, three, two, one, oh. Um, that that's for six weeks. So. Thank you very much. You can use my uh, tablet if you want. No, it's okay. I put your name in. Thank you. Beside it. Yay! I'll put you on the uh, scores. <laughs> sure. For the games. Might as well. Dar Darcy says, yeah, I'm pretty sure those were James' toes. Yes, they were. They were James' toes. <laughs> um, if you're going to be able to be with this on... Um, on Friday, in two days, we have some very, very unusual games that we're going to be playing. Some very unique uh, games, games with some very interesting and tragic backstories. Um, yeah, so I think you should definitely tune in. Um, and then, later in the week, I think next Wednesday, we're going to be playing Doodle Jump again. But we're having an exclusive version of Doodle Jump unreleased straight from the uh, programmer. Um, and he's working on it right now, so I'll be debuting um, the updated version of Doodle Jump next Wednesday. So that is very exciting. Because I have been addicted to Doodle Jump ever since, since I it? ran across it. Well, that's awesome. I'm trying harder and harder to get a top score. Um, I almost made 4,000. I think I got 37, 38,000, 38, 3,800. 38, almost got 4,000. But now that he's releasing an update, things change, so the scores are kind of wiped clean with each update because things work differently. So that's that only counts for the, the last the last version of the game. Yes, tragedy. And it's... Uh, it's a sad tale. But we will uh, find out, out that on Friday when uh, Darcy is here. And we'll do some fun, fun gaming. Um, oh, oh! I he swear! He kind of trapped you. He trapped you. He did you. trap me. This is a hard level. This one is... I'm finding it quite challenging. This one is probably the hardest level. There was one a little bit... Well, the one with the... Second hardest. You found the... Um, this is hurting my hand. Um, I feel like I need one of the one of those, you know, yeah, old school. I will get one. Arcade joysticks? Yes, that's what I was gonna I say. I mean, I have some, but they're USB upstairs. I don't have a, a nine pin, but I will be getting some. That's for sure. Because they are really good what for games is up like this. With this in the caves. <laughs> it's crazy. Can continue? To well, it's good just to, to get the lay of the land to try the levels. So. Sandcastles, yes. We're going to be playing... Is it Apple Sandcastles? Apple sa Sandcastle Apples? I can't remember the name of the game. It's a uh, it's a platformer. That is one of the games. Uh, let me just go to the forums. Where's my phone? So I can uh, read out exactly which games I will be playing. Uh, here we go. Oh, it's already in the forums. Awesome. <laughs> Come on. Back to the forums. In the blog section. 
Okay, let's go to the forums. Uh, I post my stuff under homebrew discussion. And zero page homebrew Twitch stream. And I am keeping it up to date with what's coming up. There we go. It is called Sandcastles. I thought there was an apple. Apple in the title. It's a little apple you control. Yes, yeah, Sandcastles. Uh, then the second game is Ram Pong. Very unique game. Probably a one-of-a-kind one type game. And then High Score Screen Burn Slow Burn. Probably the longest title of any Atari 2600 game. Or at least the, one of the strangest. And then Man Goes Down Work in Progress. And then we'll be playing Doodle Jump, of course, that I said, a revisited, updated version. And then possibly Anguna, which I keep pushing ahead because I keep discovering things I want to play. Because I wanted to finish um, completely playing Anguna. You may notice uh, an improvement in quality, actually, as well. Um, because I've been able to crank up the quality now. Because before, when we were streaming, I had to put it down to the lowest quality. And now I'm on... The not lowest. Not lowest. <laughs> third from highest? Second second or no, third from good. highest quality. Um, so the compression will be a lot better. Le less, um, less blockiness. Less, mm. you know, messiness. Um, because before, on the lowest quality, my computer was pegged at like... 60 uh 60 cpu and now it's almost at the highest quality and it's 40 percent cpu i didn't want to push it too high just for at least this broadcast i may and it's probably totally fine even cranking it more you probably wouldn't be able to tell any better um i don't know if it's made any improvements on um the frame rate and i did a couple tests on some really picky games of of 60 frames a second and and it still was flashing a little bit you can tell when those are going to drop they change color oh i know but that one in particular is very awkward to it get it is around. you have to either zoom past or hang back yeah, yeah. okay fairy game over yes, oh it yes is. yeah 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 carry away the booty okay hmm Well, yeah, I don't want to get into Man Goes Down yet, uh, because I have a low, I have a whole write up on it. Um, but I'm considering it a work in progress. Okay, let's not die immediately. <laughs> it's a lot easier when the sound kicks in. Wait, are you back at level one? Yeah, you had a oh, full geez. game over. No, I just, for a second there, I thought you were at, um... At the end? Yeah, because of the towers. They have, oh, like, those yeah. almost, like, um, apartment-like towers. Throwback to the first level, I think. Yeah. That's what it was. I'm guessing the game just starts over again. After you, um... Could. I mean, or... Complete it, and it just gets could harder. Could be the end. Could be. Uh, no, because... I, I think the score is too high to... Ah! The score is too high. Yeah. I think he, he, have to, he has to... Unless you get a big bonus at the end. That'd be interesting if it does finish on level 10 and then you just have to maximize your score. But I, I don't think so. get high score if I die on the first part of level one, that's for sure. Yay! I shouldn't have died, though. Should not have died. Come on. Oh. So you can see how low I go. Because the tanks can't watch that he doesn't sit on that. Because the tanks can't shoot you if you go this low. In the lower levels, you don't have much of a choice. But, uh... Oh, yeah. 
those guys just kind of shoot off to the side. Don't really aim for you, but you could be in their path if you're unlucky. Mm -hmm. they kind of just launch. They, yeah, they're they're <laughs> like, um... throw darts. They kind of go. They go both flung. ways too. They're just like, flung up. Yeah. Bing. Hi. On camera. Yes. Yes, he is. He just needs a little boost. He's trying to chew my, my hair elastic. Oh, better than electrical cables. That's true. I, I would rather, um, I would very much like to discourage both. <laughs> they yes. kind of go hand in hand. More so electrical cables. Yes, but the hair elastics kind of probably chew like electrical cables, so... Especially proprietary 40-year-old oh, cables. Oh, yes. Which he has not done yet. No, he hasn't. My worst nightmare would be him chewing like... Actually, the the worst ones are um, An Atari 7800 power. Oh, jeez, oh, yeah. Um, um, headphone cords, the oh, really skinny ones. Loves those. He chews through them in it's one bite, so you snack. have to keep them completely hidden. You have ten seconds yeah. to stop him yeah. from doing it. Yeah, like in within moments. Oh, like, oh no. <sighs> this yeah. is a hard level. It is hard. Because they they gravitate towards you. Like if, oh, why did I oh. do that? Is that it? One more. No, no, no. I wasn't watching the tank. Homing meteors. Homing meteors? They have to be the homing meteors. <laughs> That's a good name for them. Yeah. What was my last score? 19. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. You've got a ways to go. I do. You made it to like, you made it pretty far. Was that on six? a continue, though? No. It was on from the beginning. From the beginning, I okay. think you... Oh, I can't even... I think you did make it to six. This level is friggin' impossible. It's it's packed. <laughs> it's yeah, packed I mean, this is the one that I just kept dying on my continues, because you're just... It's more about avoiding, I think. It is. It's a um, lot of compared avoiding. Compared to the other ones where you can just kind of button mash your way through them like I was doing. Yes. When you hit this one, it, it you do have to make sure you're avoiding all the projectiles and everything that's in the, in the field of play. Did you get another guy at 20? I don't know yet. It said 10, but then it said something about 50? 50,000? Damn oh. it! Oh, oh, so close. Oh, you made it close. You gonna continue or no, start no, from the beginning? No, 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 no. From the beginning. Is it my turn? If you want it to be. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll... Okay. But I do agree, Man Goes Down is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I haven't played it that much, so I'm looking forward to it on Friday, to playing the hell out of that game. Do you want to reset? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Oh, Atari. He's being a good cat. And the other bad cat is yeah. not hanging around, which is good. Mm -hmm. So how do you guys like the new um, webcam down here? Where my foot is. <laughs> <laughs> For the toe wiggling. So the toe wiggling cam. Yeah, so you can see the cartridge. <gasps> you can see the box. Still trying to find like good angles for it or you know something that works. Um, but this I is... just ran right into that projectile. Oh no! Sorry, I saw it. I saw myself do it right before I ran into it too. There's I some, that. something called I think persistence of vision, where if you're looking at something, you tend to go towards it's it. It's true. It's true. It's it's like and um. It's very bad in video games. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, how you have to kind of lean into a turn or. Um, like like for skiing and things like right. that it's like it it's it's you will end up going in the direction you're facing so yeah so and some things you have to fight that urge to move towards the thing that you're looking at yeah. because Cause you're actually trying good. to avoid it yes yeah. drexel says i love the chat being on the video stream so do i yeah it has like because then when you have you go back to watch the videos, you can see what people are saying about the videos. And so you have a record and, and it's it makes it somewhat entertaining re-watching them and so you can relive what was what was being discussed then. It is wonderful. 
Asterisks of Death is what we called those hardest things level. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. The things that fall from the top? The asterisks. They're like little asterisks. Yes. Or astri, I don't know. Asteris? Ah! Oh, that was close. just cleared it. Uh, uh, yeah, asterisks of death. I like that. They are pretty awful. <laughs> yes. So the screen is pretty packed full of stuff. I've got the name of the show, we've got oh. our webcam, we've got the game, we've got the um, the chat on the screen. Oh, giving up. Um, yeah, it's good. It's got lots of stuff. Uh, I supposed to, yes, I, he posted that, I think he private messaged me, that the DKRK2600 that we played was hard-coded to difficulty A. It was hard, because I just replayed it the other day, I haven't answered, I haven't got back to you yet, but, uh, mm -hmm. in your message, but yes, I replayed it a couple days ago, and it was like, yeah, this is hard, it's just constant barrels. Very difficult. Okay, no dying. No dying. No dying at all. That's not happening. <laughs> That's what happened last time. What is happening? <laughs> Why does that happen? He shoots at this specific time. At right where I am. Oh, it's randomized. The enemies are randomized. Interesting. Are they? No. Yeah, because there was a tank there last time, and there was no tank. No, there but this I time. think when you restart over, sometimes um, I notice the tanks not hmm. there. If you start right at the beginning of the level, do you mean? I reset three times in a row because I died immediately. Now he's very upset. So that's not allowed. Ah, oh, okay. I'm just gonna hmm. have to play. <laughs> Keep resetting. But I swear, I, I reset, and then there wasn't a tank there that shot me the last two times that I died. I mean, the levels are the same, but I think it just it randomizes the enemies that are in certain places and the fuel. In certain places, for sure, because they definitely, in other places, they're the same. Or maybe there's only certain places they can spawn? I think so. I think there's yeah. like set platforms where they say, okay, enemies or fuel goes here. Let's see if I just didn't die that not one time. <laughs> that first time. <laughs> Be so much happier. It's good your own bullets don't kill you. Oh yeah, because I've run into my bullets than your own and my bombs uh, uh, on a couple yes. of occasions, so yeah. It's no, very sure. unusual for a game to actually let you go faster than your bullets. It's the bombs because they shoot up and down, so... Well, you're about the same speed, but... Hey, that one shot off me. Oh. Hard to avoid that one. I think you died on that guy too. Probably. <laughs> oh. Oh. And also, the chat is really good for marking high scores. Oh, it's terrible. Yep. I supposed to says, for this game, I did the opening tune, the end of level tune, and something original when you win the booty. Yeah. It's not in the arcade, but John Shampo wanted an end tune. Oh, very cool. Awesome. Yeah, not much more room for anything else on the Twitch screen feed. Uh, yeah. Unless, unless <laughs> yeah. I, like, yeah, you would have things to smaller. cram quite a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah you have very little space. I wish I could make the game bigger, but I can't because some games are taller 
than others. I can, I can make it a little bit bigger, but some games start on a higher, um, higher line than others, and some go lower. So I'm hesitant oh, to, so to do that because I have to keep on adjusting it. But uh, hmm, it's possible because it looks like there's a lot of blank space on the left and the right and the top and the bottom, but each game is programmed so differently. Oh, and also fixes the blinking ghost pixel. Did you release a new version of DKRK2600? Let's read a little bit about this game, actually. Because this was an arcade game. Implied by the name, Super Cobra Arcade. That was bad. Okay, can you read about Super Cobra Arcade? Or Super Cobra? Super Cobra is a 1981 arcade game, the sequel to popular horizontally scrolling shooter Scramble. Super Cobra was developed by Konami and manufactured and distributed by Stern in North America. It is similar in concept to its predecessor, but much more difficult. <laughs> it's not easy. It was released sure. in March of 1980. Would you like to, what would you like to, to know about uh, <laughs> Super anything Cobra? interesting in it? Its uh, development? It was successful. 12,000 video game arcade cabinets were sold in the States. Um, the player controls a helicopter through tight caverns, and the slightest misstep will result in the loss of a life. However, unlike Scramble, the game can be continued where the player ah. left off by adding more credits. Ah, so it uh, stays true to that. Joystick accelerates, decelerates, moves up and moves down. The helicopter uses a laser and a bomb to destroy defenders, tanks, and UFOs while infiltrating 10 Super Cobra defense systems. So Didn't die. That's pretty good. Cool. Ship has limited fuel supply, which is depleted over time. More fuel can be acquired by destroying fuel tanks. Ah! Oh, wasn't looking. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Game Sorry. is divided into 10 sections plus a finale, each with a different style of terrain and different obstacles. Players navigate through 10 levels and a base where they must safely make it through the level and remove the booty. Still the booty! <laughs> it's called booty in the original. Uh, uh, yeah, that's hilarious. The levels are described. Oh, I can go through the levels, but. Sure, yeah. yeah? We've got okay. time. Have so, nice to talk about. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> level one player must maneuver the chopper over mountainous terrain against fast and slow firing rockets. Yeah. Two chopper faces arcing missiles oh. over a mountain terrain. Uh, arcing, yep, just killed me. One of those arcing missiles. Yep. Uh, three smart bombs flying in groups of four over mountainous terrain. Rockets appear but do not fire. Four single smart bombs over mountainous terrain. Again, rockets appear but do not fire. Five chopper flies through a cavern like terrain against falling mines. Mm. Six yep. rapidly firing roving tanks over mountainous terrain. Rockets appear but do not fire. Roving tanks, yeah, remember those. Seven maneuver through a field of meteors which explode when hit with bombs or three times with laser plus a single green shadow meteor directly in front of Chopper, which explodes when hit five times with laser. Right. This is different, I think. Little, Rockets appear, different. but do not fire. Eight Chopper flies over mountainous terrain against rapidly firing UFOs. Tanks and rockets appear, but do not fire. Chopper faces arcing missiles over tall buildings. That's number nine. Okay, yeah, tall buildings, yeah. Uh, ten firing rockets in a building maze. And 11, the base player must maneuver the ah. chopper over tall buildings against arcing missiles and rapidly firing tanks to reach the booty and safely carry it away. Get there that booty. There is no intermission between each section. The game simply no. scrolls into the new terrain. If the player oh. destroys the booty on the final level, they must start back at the beginning of the level. Oh! I swear I got that one. There is intermissions on this one. Like, it pauses. It doesn't... It. Yeah, you're right. It does pause. Oh, a series of stupid deaths. <laughs> not doing terrible, but not doing good. 
We haven't beaten your, what, 19,000? 19, 19, 19, yeah. That was pretty good. Now I gotta pay attention to the stuff at the bottom and these little guys. Those guys are awful. Not a fan. Not, Not a fan, fan of the Asterisks <laughs> of Death. No. That would be a very good band name, by the way. It would be Asterisks of Death. Yeah, I, I, I really oh, like that. Oh, that was so oh. dumb! Oh. Was that mine? That's yours. Asterisks of Death. Uh, which one is DK? Donkey Kong I made in basic. Ah, yes. But you should never give my complaints about difficulty much weight. I'm a big whiner. <laughs> that's just, that's Drexel. Uh, oh, you died! Yeah, immediately. You start over? You don't yeah, I, <laughs> I just got a new DPC plus display kernel working today. Ooh. Uh, there will be a new Batari Basic released. Ooh. I bet Space Canyon, Cactus Canyon wouldn't have had its extra oh, pixels. Oh, uh, you think are needle pickups, but don't do anything. Ah, uh, yes, I did see that. Um, in some videos I've been watching about uh, Space Cactus Canyon. Okay, but this time you're correct that there's an awful lot of barrels at the beginning. There was a lot of barrels. Um, are you still working on DKRK2600? Yeah, did you correct the barrels and re-release a new version of it? Or are um, you still working on it and just corrected those locally? There'll be new Batari Basic released. Oh, so... Oh, that's cool. So you have um, a new kernel for Batari Basic users to use as as their kernel. Is that what... That's what you're saying, I'm guessing. sure it's all good. So what games do you play? <laughs> what games do I play? <laughs> I haven't had a lot of time for games. No. Um, I do want to play Fallout 4. Um, this is besides old school Atari games. Um, but I made this show so I can play games and set aside a couple hours every week. Um, just to sit down and play some some homebrew games. Oh, you saw that one coming. I sometimes instead of moving forward or back, I just try to move up or down, which is really lazy. <laughs> and then you en end up not really avoiding the missile that's coming for you. So yeah, yeah, I know. It's funny. Um, yeah, I do like um, the Elder Scrolls series and also the Fallout series. Well, Fallout Three. Fallout 4. I didn't play the first two Fallouts because they're very, very, very different games in terms of play style, not in terms of content. They're like overhead 2D games. <laughs> they're very different. Um, Cyberpunk 2077 looks amazing. It does look good. Um, Witcher didn't look like a game I would like to play. Um, Anything with too much storyline? No, I wouldn't have had a lot of storyline. Yeah, I, which sure. I just don't want to. I just don't want to get into. It. I'm not there. I'm there to play the game, not to read the game. It's not a movie. I, I I like attending more onto the side of playing, but I don't like it devoid of a story. That's not good. Yeah. Well, Witcher. Witcher was crazy for like these cutscenes that would go on forever in between. So, you know certain major parts of the main story and then dying and then rebooting and then re-showing these these oh. sort of comic book God. scenes and it and it repeated them uh it died? would repeat it when when you died and um actually the dlc Man. got rid of that damn it oh <laughs> Uh, the DLC got rid of some of that, which was really good, because I think it, ah. it did become annoying after a while. So they listened to feedback and went... Yeah, mm. I mean, they still had, the, they still had sort of the in-game cinematic scenes sometimes, where suddenly, you know, you were playing, and then suddenly it would be like you were watching a movie for a while, and I know you, that doesn't appeal to you. No. Um, Short sequences? Sure. Yeah, Witcher had some pretty long ones in it, but um, the gameplay was really fun in it. I, I 
really like Witcher. Although the controls were a little wonky. Oh my god. And I think you heard me complaining about the controls Compl a bit before. Constantly. Yeah. Yes. Um, so hopefully in Cyberpunk 2077, or the next Witcher, whichever comes out first. Yeah. <laughs> um, they will think that. a bit more about the control scheme. Was it a common complaint, or was it just you? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I complained about it. <laughs> I, I wasn't necessarily listening to other people complain about it. Right. Oh, no, no, that's not true, because um, our, our our friend Steve played it as well, and he had the same comment. Oh, okay. and, and it's more... And you couldn't remap the buttons, oh. because the buttons well, were... Well, on a console. We're playing PS4, mind you. Yeah, we've moved away from Atari now somehow, but um, <laughs> no, I'm I'm talking in comparison to um, PC. Oh yes. Because PC, I'm sure yes, you can you remap could. it. Yeah, I because yeah. they use keyboard. Yeah, um, but a lot of a lot of you know PS and console games, you can remap buttons. So it's, it, it was a very That's strange true. thing that you couldn't do that. Um, <laughs> I should make it to this level without dying. Dying on this level? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is where you get all the points. The big points, that level. Mm. Want me to play again? No, oh, your turn. <laughs> okay. You can stop talk talking about horrible Witcher controls. Uh, you should try harder SC arcade levels where those pop-off missiles go off the right side and reappear from the left side and kill you. Oh, I'm playing your, your continue game. And why did you press it? I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just die. Just die. Yeah, that's true. Uh, no thanks, this Excited. one's hard enough. I, I can't make it past level 3 on one game, so... If I can make it to level 10 in one turn, then I'll up the difficulty level. What? Okay. There we go. Okay. I was just curious second, how long it would be until something ran into me. I thought me. it was one of those things where if you stay perfectly still, they won't oh, get no, you. No, they get you pretty quick. Uh, I supposed to says yes. I am uh, still working on it. The DK Arcade. Is it DK Arcade or DK VCS? DK Arcade. Because there's two or three, three Donkey Kong games. Um, since Atari Age plans to release DK VCS, ColecoVision, DK SGM, and my version, they'll probably be released just from Forum Thread. Uh, Facebook Atari Age or Facebook Atari Age Homebrew. Okay. No double ender. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Two versions of DK. One on each side. That would be so good. Yeah, he'd have to... Um, Al would have to find some way to manufacture those cartridges. Because... Um, as far as I know, does he still, um, did he find a supplier for cartridges, or is he still accepting ETs and Pac-Mans <laughs> for discounts in the store? I swear I read that he found somewhere that was starting to make them. So how's the sink? Still in sync? Terrible, terrible. Hopefully it's still in sync. <laughs> Every time I check, listening to the feed, it's totally fine. Um, more games. What do I... I play a lot of shooters and a lot of platform games. Mm. Um, I've been stocking up on... Um, limited limited run games uh, like releases yeah okay <laughs> limited i guess you did pretty poor. it was pretty poor uh limited run games for ps4 um and now switch um so that i don't miss them because you have to buy them immediately even though that i don't have a ton of time to play them i have played some of the earlier ones that i've purchased so i've bought i don't know 30 or 40 limited run games uh <laughs> it's silly mistakes. I mean, no, I'm anticipating. It's it's uh, it's like I'm anticipating my next move. I'm I'm reacting before I really should be. Yeah. So that's usually what I gravitate towards when I buy the 2600 homebrew games as well. Luckily, there are a lot of shooters, and homebrews are 
making a lot of platformy games too, because there there wasn't a ton of platform games in the initial run of 2600, so I think people are trying to fill in the blanks of the games they wish they saw originally. So Man Goes Down and all the bouncing, jumping, the doodle jump games, they a lot of them didn't exist back then, so I'm really happy that they are putting them out on Homebrew now. Um, so I'm snapping those up when I see them. And I'm definitely thinking about having the best of the year games um, episode at the end of the year, it's like best of 2017, what was released in terms of homebrew? on cart, yeah, homebrew. Yeah, no, no, no. That's yeah, all we yeah. play here. <laughs> Only no, the homebrew. No, nothing old, all new. <laughs> <laughs> we have put in uh, games that just to compare them, like the old version of the game, mm. just to see. Oh, okay, this is the improvements Perfect. they made. There's some things you have to be careful not to fly close to. Um, yeah, like best of best of 2018 games, um, in terms of things that were released on cartridge and most anticipated games that are work in progress games that haven't been released yet. So that's definitely going to be a show or multiple shows at the end of um, the end of the year or towards the end of the year. Anyway. Uh, Albert is still buying ETs and Pac-Mans. Can you read that off? Four lines up, I think. Albert is still buying ETs and Pac-Mans for 50 cents and or AA store credit. Right. Um, and I know he did have a pic of a 3D printed car, but nothing more was said about it. So I guess still working on that. <laughs> I guess you guys can see me reaching over to the... <laughs> the reset button now. Ice Posta says, um, Al's still repurposing carts, but says new carts okay. are coming. Good. Al has the gray CBS shells because one way or another there will be a homebrew Wizard of War. Yep, Wizard of War is a game. Wizard yes. of War. Because I almost completed all the speech strings from the original for the Atari Vox Plus. Ooh. Mm. Exciting. That's a fun game. 70 plus sentences. That that sounds very impressive. 70 plus 70 sentences? 70 plus sentences. That's going to be a jam-packed game. And Arena Foot, yeah, of, still waiting on Wizard of War 2. Full of talking. Mm. Whoa, why did I fly down? So this controller is doing really well for this game. Mm. It's um, very appropriate. Ah. Can I make it to level 2 without dying? Oh, I think I did. Yay! Or level three, I mean. No, I'm just level two. All right. Let's see if I can make this one. Which is not too much harder than the first level. Because those guys aren't too much of a threat. Because you know there are. Mm. And same with the uh, tanks. The Their bullet arc is totally predictable. Oh, Damn it! Those oh. missiles. I think they go left, right, left, right, if you can watch. I will try. Try any left. So you're definitely scoring more points this round. Am I? Yes. Oh, good. So I was just kind of mentally making note you're at around 3170 or 3200 after the first level, but you kind of doubled that before even finishing. Oh, no, you're on the third level? I'm in the second, almost yeah. to the third. So, yeah, on the second level, you doubled it on that life. Do you know what I mean? Like you were past almost at seven thousand, so okay. so obviously the higher the level you go, the more potential scoring opportunity there is. Yeah, these guys are worth curious. a lot. Two hundred and fifty each. Mm. So you get a lot of points this level. If you 
shoot them. <laughs> you just dodge them or manage to avoid them. Oh, I could see that one coming. I knew it. It was just getting too close to me. Oh. You forget they're on the ground, Damn eh? It. Those tiny little... <laughs> Dying so much. So short of a time. Still doing well. No, I'm not. 12,000. I need to get to 20 at least. I need to get to 33. <laughs> Whoa. That was close. That was close. No. <sighs> Thirteen. I mean, it doesn't stop. It do he does keep flying, like they were saying in the instructions. Or the... Uh, Arena Foot says, um, James, what about Christmas holiday homebrew game special at the end of the year? Yeah, I, like I am going to do that. Definitely. And, uh, because I've been putting off some of the games. I don't know. Because there's a ton of Christmas games for the 2600. Um, and I haven't... I've been trying not to play them. I, I couldn't avoid the Frosty games because they're just so good. Yeah, they are really good. Um, die tank! Um, but yes, I am saving those up for the holidays. It's going to be a, a little bit of a wait for those, but I'm sure there's plenty of other games to play. Oh, what? Knew it! Ooh, uh... Come on, 20,000. I'm almost there. And then Arena Fit also says, I'm thinking about doing a holiday homebrew games book. Nothing but Christmas oh. theme, themed homebrews and hacks. Very smart. That would be pretty That fun. would be good. Yeah. And of course, release it right at the right at Christmas. Right time. Enough for getting the shipping. So, you know, beginning of December. 18. Oh, what's the next level like? Level 5 on um, it's one game. It's going through the mountains with those stupid asterisks of death. Okay. Oh, no, no, it's these guys. The, the Falling bath-like creatures. Types. Yeah. The... Oh, 19-130. Did I... I don't think so. I don't know. Is I think you might have gotten exactly the same score. 19-130. <laughs> I'll type it anyway. It'll come up in a second. Oh, 10 points! You beat it by 10 points! Yes! <laughs> I rocked that score! Good job. Oh, and some songs and demos. Now, I do want to show some demos on the show, but I think that's better for like a pre-recorded, edited video. Because demos, you just sit there and stare at it and talk about them, I guess. It's just not the same. I don't, I don't think it's appropriate for a live show. <laughs> But I have thought about demos, but I think I'll relegate those to, like, reviews. Reviews of demos. Oh, right into it. I know, because right I'm not it. looking. I have to look. Their bullets are super tiny. They are small, and they get, they get lost in the star field a little bit. They, so. they look like stars. Yeah. Because they flicker just like the stars. The flickering, I'm sure, is just due to the colors that they're passing through. Um, because they're they're made of... It looks like they're playfield colors, so it would be the um, the ball, which is the smart thing to make it out of. I don't know if the ball is everything. I'd have to analyze it. Over on the PC there. <sighs> Using the handy dandy built in um, examining program on Stella, which is super awesome to use. How are you supposed to? We have some 2600 songs and demos and Christmas game folder. Yeah, have you posted it somewhere? Oh. Arena Foot is the keeper. The keeper mm -hmm. of the games. Mm -hmm. Do not deny him his games. <laughs> I don't know if you keep track of demos. I don't think... I don't think you do. Oh, uh, bastard. Yeah, I gotta be 20,000 at least. You'll get there. 
I'd say it's... Yeah. You were pretty close, so... It was really close, and I just... I, I died on some stupid moves, so... This, yeah, the last the last game I played was, was pretty good. Like, I didn't die because I coincided exactly with a tank coming out of a narrow field trying to trying to dodge it and it's impossible. No. I died because I just you know, it was hard. <laughs> and that's the way you wanna die. You're doing better now? Eh, off and on. I mean it's funny because that initial oof, that initial game what was it? My second or third turn went really, really well and I just have not been able to recreate the success. <laughs> should be able but that's to okay. this time. You should be able to get ten, over 10,000. Oh, jeez. You just have to shoot a couple more guys. No. <laughs> not die. Yeah, stop saying that. <laughs> Don't jinx me. No. <laughs> couple more. Shh, stop get it. a free life. Oh. Level. Nice. That's a good oh. tactic. Down, then up. Down, well, then up. Kind of, you're kind of... On those of, guys. Those are, that's yeah, pretty good. Which only works until you get to the mountainous terrain level and then the, yeah. it just all falls apart, but... Yeah, you're forced. Yeah. These guys act differently. They're they on do. a pattern. They don't They don't follow you. Or do they? Do they center around you? Yeah, they do. Okay. They do. These ones actually don't rush you. No, that's they true. Don't appear that's to. the difference. They don't rush you. So you can easily avoid you them. You can avoid them. Well, okay, I'm doing better this time. <laughs> Kicking ass. Well, shh. <laughs> no, really? No. No, no, no. no. level four. I still don't have enough extra lives, so. <laughs> well, we're not gonna. You're not getting any more. Yet I'm incredibly stressed out. <laughs> you would think, you think, you know, you sometimes think when you're feeling zen, you do well, but sometimes that's not the case. Oh man. Yeah, I didn't think you had any too many demos on your list, because um, you would have to go through the pu puet. I've never known how to pronounce that. Puet. 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 Sounds French. Well, they went right through you. You were very lucky there. Oh, See, it's that I one. It's... I had trouble with that one before. They list everything that's a demo. Yeah, oh, I go to their um, quite often for C64 demos and 2600 demos. Oh my god. I had one goal, and that was to beat you, oh. and it didn't happen. <laughs> so close. Oh, that was very, very good, though. I'm very, very happy with that score. So Thank you. Oh, my. That's Ooh. really good. Man. Oh. Now, I just want to be, get 20,000. Yeah. That's my main objective. By crashing into mountains, oh. you're not going to get it. Oh, you can see him on the overhead cam a little bit. Oh, that's cute. A little bit of fur. <laughs> Put a little bed there and make it a cat cam. Oh, yeah, it'd just be the cat cam. Atari cam. Yeah, that would be sweet. My thumb is getting a little bit raw. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Secret for high scores is shoot everything. Oh, oh but don't run into it. <laughs> yeah, but don't run into it. Oh my god. Stop it! Stop it! Stop dying!
some of it's chance that... that some of it is. Because they, it's positioned differently every game. Yeah, maybe. And the, I, I'm the thinking tanks you're right being because... positioned at certain places make them really deadly. Yeah. Like, right at the beginning of openings, super deadly. I don't know if the original game was like that, but I bet it was. Just to make it non-memorizable. Like, well, that's true. Um, it keeps it keeps it interesting. Oh! It does. It, it keeps it interesting. If there's a little bit of variety and you're not always just memorizing your path through. Yeah. Something to be said for memorization, but also something for randomness. Yeah. And certain games are better when there's a bit of randomness, like this one is a bit better. Turn pink, <laughs> pink before they take off, but sometimes but they're they so quick. They're sometimes so they quick. turn pink way ahead of time, like way ahead yeah. of time. And it's like, okay, I know you're taking off, but when? Yeah, it's n yeah. <sighs> Not bad. Let's get some water. I'll be right back. Okay. Reset. Anything past level two, I'm not going to reset. Yeah, left, right. This one should go left, right. No, it didn't take off. This one should go left. Next one should go right. This one should go left. Nice. Okay. Right. Left. They do go left, right, left, right. So you can't predict this one. Left, next one to the right. Left, right. Left. What? Oh, the one on the one on the right just went. Oh, terrible. Okay, I'm just gonna die now. Crashing into the ground. That's my turn. No survivors. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh. One more. Oh. oh. Sad. Mm. Then I have to wait for the continue to finish. See the playing, how the people with the super high scores do. Nobody ever posts the videos. They always play just oh, post the screenshots. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> only screenshots. Oh, black and white cats here. I have to uh, keep an eyeball on him. Yeah, keep an eye out for him so he doesn't start causing trouble. Causing trouble. <laughs> getting on the electrical equipment. Do not worry about buttons. him. Right now, the two cats are... <laughs> actually, you can grooming? see them grooming each other in the um, <laughs> in the overhead cam. <laughs> Soon, a, and a fight, a fight is going to break out very shortly. Yes. So. <laughs> this is not cute, it is dominance. Yeah, well, sometimes it's cute, but usually it ends in a... In, Fighting, in, and in, in crying. Crying and tearing fur out of each other, so... But in a playful way. Yeah. <laughs> not, not serious, I hate you way, but... Yeah. So far, so good. I'm not... I think I get distracted, so... Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, 
go to visit from a pixel. Now for the big points. Nope, don't need a cat. Don't need a cat. Not right now. Okay, he's gonna jump up on things. Mm -hmm. Blame the new cat. The new cat in the room. The new cat is jinxing. Yep, yeah, it's bringing bad karma. Bad, bad karma cat. <laughs> no, paws are out. Tails are wagging. Watch out! Ah! Sorry. I do blame you for that one. <laughs> get out of the way! Don't get your cup. Why did you bring your cup over there? It's <laughs> in my hand. I blame you. Oh no! <laughs> You don't want me to get close to your high score. That's anymore. right. <laughs> this is not an easy level. Not good for distractions. <sighs> Terrible. Don't blame me. It was the cat. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> it was a folder downloaded somewhere. 2600 holiday ROM. Seems it's everything from 2012 back. Atari Basic, Holiday Hacked Into Games, Holiday Picture Demos, like the 2003 Atari Holiday Cart. This is I supposed to sing this. A very 2600 Christmas. It's an animated snow and logo that plays four or five songs, and all the off notes and compromises included. Some great titles like Bell Hopper, Gingerbread Man, Stay Frosty Original, MIDI to Atari Music, Santa's Helper, a Kaboom. What? Santa's Helper, a Kaboom Back. So, how many people out there are going to be buying the Retron 77? Hmm? Any of you are interested in it? I'll probably end up buying it. I'll probably buy it at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, there's a couple downsides and a couple upsides to it. So it kind of evens out, in my opinion. The upsides is it's small. It has HDMI out, which is really nice. Um, so it's portable and you can hook it up to anybody's television anywhere. You just bring it and plug it in. And it has an SD card slot built right in, so you don't need to bring your Harmony Encore or your Harmony Cart. Um, the, down, the downsides, those are pretty good upsides. Those are really good. Um, the downsides is it takes maximum 16k cartridges which excludes some of the best homebrew out there which is really frustrating and i don't know why why that would be a limitation it just doesn't make any sense i, I don't know i guess the way it's not able to read the cartridge very well well, that went right through your blades. Oh. That one didn't. Um, so it can't play, it can't read any of the 32 uh, K and above. It doesn't work with Harmony, the Harmony cart, which is not too big of a deal because it's got an SD uh, card reader built in as long as it can do everything the Harmony cart can. And it's running Stella. 
as an emulator, so maybe somebody more uh, up to date with, um, you know, hardware, the hardware Harmony card versus Stella can tell me maybe some things fall in between that. Um, I'm assuming it's updatable as the Stella releases come out. Um, they may need to make, actually they would need to make their own version, so it's going to lag behind the Stella that are, are going to be released. Um, but hopefully they'll be able to close that gap closer and closer as more people discover how, how it works in conjunction with Stella and their hardware. Um, I supposed to says he ordered one. My turn. Yeah. Uh, Rena Foot says not 100% sure about the S SD card slot. No, I swear I read that on a Facebook interaction with Hyperkin. Hyperkin was, of course, no, it was either on Atari Age forums or a Facebook post. I was actually, I'm pretty sure it's on the Atari Age forums where they were talking about there was an SD card slot. Um, but maybe I'm misremembering that. If there's no SD cards... No, there was an SD card slot, and that was the way people were going to be able to play the 32K and above um, games. So I am almost like 99.9% .9 sure that there is an SD card slot, because they came in, I think... It was under the name Hyperkin something, or Mike Hyperkin, or somebody's name in Hyperkin. So just take a look through the forums on some threads about the Retron 77. And I think I made a post a while back saying, oh, that gives me a lot more hope, knowing that Hyperkin is actually taking, talking back to the community and taking an interest in what our concerns are about it so that they can make a better product and we will buy more of them and promote more of them. But it is... I think the most disappointing is I can't just plug any game that I have on my shelf up there into it and play it. Only some of them and then I have to memorize which ones I can and can't play little stickers on it. Non Retron 77 compatible. It's close. That was very close. Okay, come on. Make it to level 3. Without dying. The tanks only shoot in one direction. And not fire back on you. That would be really annoying. You're keeping mental score? Of, like you, you said 7,000 one time I made it? Uh, I got 7, no, you, you were very three? close to. You were 68 or something, oh, and then okay. you died, but I did notice that you scored more points. Ah! the second level versus the first. Oh, okay. So I was just kind of curious whether, you know, the, um, as it gets harder, obviously, potentially. Oh my god, terrible mistakes. Points. Yeah. Uh, yeah, things are worth more. Yeah, the they're worth things. more, and I think there's just more on the screen to hit as well. Yeah. You know, because you've got what's down below, and you've also got all these horrible deadly asterisks. Oh. oh, they're just mean. Mean to you today. Or this round, I should say. Yes. It's funny, because sometimes I feel like you can dodge them really easily, and sometimes... Sometimes not. Like, it, sometimes it just goes right for you. <laughs> <sighs> I don't want out. I just don't want the door closed. That's what cats are saying with doors, when they're scratching at them. Don't necessarily want out, just don't want it closed. I want the option of going out. Don't fence me in. That's understandable. Can I make this last life last? 
Although we did have a cat who could turn doorknobs. Yes, our last cat would be able to jump up. Well, not door doorknobs. Well, no, the, uh, pull down. The pull the pull style knobs are what we have, and she basically figured out she could jump and put her weight on it and swing the door open, our bedroom door open. Yeah. She was smart. <laughs> These oh, two, yeah. no, nah. no, not so much. Oh, that was close. Let's see if I can make it to 20,000 on one life. Oh, oh, good luck. This is so tough. Sure it is. Not easy. I'm doing well, though. This part's so hard. Oh, my goodness. I swear that tank was going to kill me. Sometimes, yeah, that's surprising. Beat your score, your high score so far. Nope, no oh, extra life at 20. Oh, good. No, no, there isn't. Just a 10. Good job, though. Oh! Woo! Good job. Thank you. 5% left. Damn good it. job. Thank you. Don't have much battery left on my... On your... Tablet. On this one? But you've got yours. Mine is good. It doesn't play the video, but it, um... You can type? You see everything? Yeah, the, the chat seems to be fine. Okay. Uh, the video... It's a... Is it on? Nope. There's not even on. <laughs> nope, mine died. Oh my gosh. Can you get a power cable from upstairs? Please. What a stupid way to die. Oh my god. 25,770. And there we go. Is it USB C? Uh, no. Because <laughs> that's not what I have. That's not on. No, just bring it over here. It's not on? No. What's going on? Did you die? Yep. But I got an amazing oh. score. Good job. Amazing score. I'm gonna play one. Do you wanna play? Sure. Okay. I can reset it. Oh. Oh. Gotta wrap it around. There we go. <sighs> Did you die? Are no. you okay? No, I'm fine. Oh, good. For now. <laughs> For now. For now. Da da da. Should always remember to charge up my tablet before the show. It always gets low. There we go. So 25,770. Where does that put me in the rankings? Oh, second. Good job. I'm not counting lid likes in television because I don't count him. He runs the thing. He picks the games. It's rigged, I tell you. Rigged. Now, if I didn't die those two times so stupidly, uh, I don't know how much further I could have made it, but I was doing really, really good. It's those asterisks. Yeah, those asterisks are hard. Of death. Yeah, but there are also a lot so of points. Your, yeah, your they score are a just lot of points. Jumps up. Yeah, at that right at um, what is it level three or four? Uh, three and four. Yeah. Yeah. Just Tons. If you can get all those, you're going to be having a huge score. Yeah, I supposed to. So do my two Raspberry Pi, but Pi can't read carts. Yeah, exactly. That's Raspberry Pi does all of the things the Retron 77 does. Um, except have. Except you can't plug in authentic, real, original joysticks into it. Um, which, which I will give the Retron 77 kudos for. It does allow for um, 
driving controllers, paddle controllers. I don't know if they confirmed um, the rollerball for it, the roller controller. I don't know if they did or not. We'll have to see. Um, but you can get DB9 to USB adapters for Raspberry Pi. So that takes care of that problem. Oh, doing good. Doing good. Um, so it's not really a big advantage yeah. over yeah, down, down. the Raspberry Pi, except for its look. But, you know, you can get some nice cake. Oh, See, I, right into it. I was trying to get away from it. But I mean, I have a... Oh, I can't get it right now, because we're in the middle of a game. But I have a really nice Raspberry Pi case that looks like uh, an NES. Like, really nice. It flips up and everything. I mean, I'm sure everybody's seen that one by now. Um, and it was like $10. It was super, super cute. Super cute and super cheap. Um, so I'm guessing somebody will make um, a decent Atari one. I haven't seen a decent Atari one yet. 2600, I mean. But I'm sure somebody will do one if they have not already started making one. But if anybody's seen a cute 2600 um, Raspberry Pi, I do have... I think I have an extra Raspberry Pi 3 right now. I gave it away as a prize. Or gave it away as a, a gift. Yeah. And I gave away a Raspberry Pi Zero inside an Atari 2600 cartridge as a prize. Uh, not for the show, something for my friends. James, you're in third. No, I'm not. I'm in second. Second. The first place does not count. He runs the thing. <laughs> How can you have a contest of where you're in and you get to pick the games? And you're going to pick games that you're super awesome at. He has three times the score of the second player. I don't, I don't count his score. <laughs> I'm in second. <laughs> oh, I don't want to start here. Oh, oops. I don't want to start there. Don't want to be hit by that. Uh, bombing myself. I'm immune to my own bombs. Kill everything on the screen. Whoa. They're not worth much points, but everything counts. Every tiny little thing counts. Let's say 300 points? No. Probably 30. Hmm? It's probably two scores combined. What is say? Oh, 300. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. 200, 200. Something was 300. It showed on the screen. 300 points. 100. 100 is the color of it. Weird. Oh, I thought it was a tank that I killed. It might have been. It was 300. Some of them are 200, some of them are 100. It's really weird. 200. Hmm. Hooray! You have to pay attention to the scale at the beginning. <laughs> that thing in the bottom right corner, I think, is the number of times you've looped a game. What? Really? Yeah, that's the, the booty. Booty number. Booty number one. <laughs> so it hasn't changed since we've started playing because we haven't even gone through once. the game once. Mm -hmm. Ah! See? Why are some 300 and some 200? Is it the height? No, the 300 was really low. Now it is 100. Weird. Weird. Somebody explain that? The varying scores of the tanks? I wish they were all 300. That's a good point. It did have the scale at the beginning. It flashes up, but I but wasn't they were all, paying... They didn't, like, say, oh, well, from 200 to Well, I think the moving 300. ones are different. But oh, yes. You know what I mean? But oh, I, sure I don't know. 
Some might be ready to shoot. So oh, depending on what stage they're at, that is, is my guess. Could be it. The shooting ones could be worth more. Mm -hmm. This is where you get the points. I didn't do well last time when I. This is also where you die. Ah! Oh, see, that's you don't say things like that. No. But you got an extra life at least. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna get it anyway. Get out of here, you're too close. Too close. Gotta watch the bottom. Ah! Oh. I can never tell if I shoot those at the last second or if I just keep running into them. But I guess this the game is telling me I run into them. And they do jut off the screen at like random times. Oh! Oh, this is not going to be a high scoring game. Although I did get the majority of my points on my last life last time. That's not the case. Probably because I made it to an e a level that's easier than this terrible Maybe. stuff. Well, I, I find the. This, this hard. is the hardest level. The next yeah. one's not as easy. No, not as hard. I find the next level with the caverns and those no. stupid things. I find that much harder. Because they're corralled. These guys are corralled. Yeah, but, and they don't dart at you. Which is when I They take up so much space that if you're trying to get past them, they can be very hard to get past. Yeah. Oh, as I die on one, and another one hits me in my death throes. What? See, it's impossible to get around them. Oh. Okay, this is my last. My next one will be my last as well. Yeah. I did very well and got second slash third. Oh, what am I doing here? I don't know. I suppose it says I have two adapters. They are $30 each. Spiceware showed Mappy running on the Pi. So he apparently has Stella built Stella 5 on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they keep up the... Uh, Retro Pie, pretty up to date, I think. So you have two adapters for Atari DB9 to uh, USB. Yeah, I don't think I have any because I don't. I'd rather play Atari games on all this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've put enough money into this with. Up You're feeling pretty good. <laughs> RGB, RGB upgrades and running through a Frame Meister and all this stuff is. Yeah, I don't. I'll, I'll stick with this. And I'd rather use it on the original equipment anyway and keep adding to that like buying the arcade sticks yeah that's a good idea i wish they would put a paddle the paddles in the hand are nice though even though they get so dirty and terrible i don't know if anybody's made aftermarket paddles that aren't so jittery and terrible Yeah, it is time to... This is our last games anyway. Yep. Yeah. It is about that time. Two hours. Yeah. When you're hitting the three-hour mark, <laughs> it gets a, a little bit... Uh... Well, that's for special days. Yeah. <laughs> that's, for, that's for marathons of trying to finish a game. There is no end to this, I don't think. It just gets worse. <laughs> it just gets harder and harder and harder. Trying to think of the things that I want to buy at the upcoming expos. Retro expos. There's one coming up in Vancouver mm -hmm. at the end of this month. Um, not this weekend, but next weekend. On the 20, whatever it is, 23rd, 25th. That was close. You were like heading Panic. right for it. Panic. Um, and then Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October, which is the big one. Woo! The big one. I do want some more tabletop games. I'm missing a couple that I would really want. Uh, I'm missing Donkey Kong. And... I can't remember the other one. Donkey Kong's the big one that I'm missing. 
Um, I think I have all the other ones. All the major ones. Maybe Popeye would be nice. I don't know how good Popeye is on the tabletop. In terms of Atari games... It's a tank. Sure. Tank shot you. Went right I know. I never, I, never, I never look at the tanks. Gotta, I'm like looking at these you dudes. You have two eyes on this I level. I know. It's not many tanks, but they do shoot once in a while. At least the rockets don't shoot. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. And I must say, this game is exceptionally well made. Oh, it's an the, excellent game. The amount of things that are going on on the screen, on the bottom, that are all on the same level is unbelievable. Um, it's got an excellent flicker handling routine. Um, I mean, there's a lot of flicker on the bottom, but you're not really paying attention to that. It's mostly the top stuff. And and even then, it's got a great flicker and handling routine. Ah! It's just close. Oh, goodness. Um, it's only when you pass by them and you're moving all over the place, so most of the screen is really solid. And, um, and the bottom is using playfield to scroll and even though it's you know doing four pixels at a time it's so smooth like because everything else um i wouldn't think that a four a four pixel horizontal scrolling game would be as smooth as a, smooth as it is wow you made it all the way here with that many lives good job you know if you beat my score i will have to keep playing <laughs> Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> that would be a little... Actually, yeah, my, I forgot that I did a fairly high score. I thought I just made 20. But I think 20-something? 20 20, 25. 25, 7, 7, I think you did pretty good. I did pretty good. I'm really happy with that score. Oh, I, I hit that guy there I mean, all the time. There's still a half a month to go. So people are going to surpass that for sure. Where am I? <laughs> I don't know. The end of the end of the caverny level. The end? I passed it? No, no, no. You haven't passed it. You're still in the level four. No, no. But I mean, I, I, I thought I would have had to redo the caverny part of it. Yeah. No, you, you made it past. Yeah, level five. But I died. That's kind of weird. Oh well. Nineteen thousand. You almost did twenty. <sighs> I beat my old score. Where's your old? 18,500. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 20,000. Feeling Come pretty on. good. Feeling these guys are hard. <laughs> Especially when you run into the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> come on. So close. That's okay. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Very happy with that. Yes. 19,680. Six, eight. Oh, spell it wrong. Typed it wrong. Okay, here's my last attempt. <laughs> 1500. Oh. Oh. No, we'll that's alright. Okay. No, that's fine. See it after. Yeah. Getting Nintendo thumb. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you gotta take breaks between your. <laughs> Button mashing. Yeah, uh, okay, but keep, uh, I take a couple days break. <laughs> so. so we have four games. Well, three and a half games on Friday. One game you don't actually play. I think I showed you that one. Bet on the harder levels of this, your um, your fuel goes down a lot quicker because that's something that's not even a concern at this stage, right? Mm. <clears throat> so you, that's probably something that they would build in mm. to the harder the ones. Levels? It's like no, you have to shoot the fuel. Yeah. Yay! A thousand miles clear. Yes, 
definitely is a button masher. I'm not really... You kind of do. It's like avoidance and just smack and smack and smack the and buttons button. continuously. Because as long as you stay low, you're yes. continuously firing. Yeah. Uh, the, you're bombing, right? You're, you're bombing, yeah. strafing. What is it? Strafing? Uh, it was lasers. Uh, strafing. Yeah, up and yeah. down is strafing. If you get more points for them in the air or on the ground, those guys. Hmm. I would say in the air because they're hard. They could be the same. Probably. They could the just same. be the same points level. All my lives. Okay. Doing well. I get a lot of red guys. That's the problem when they start going fast and then I still try and shoot them. That's when I run into them. Oh, get out of here. Oh, my thumb. <laughs> I think Panky the Panda was my other one that didn't end. Well, that was like three and a half hours of playing. Yeah, I think that was just pure time. And this one is constant movement. Yeah. Like, you're not sitting still for any length of time. You're just up and down and moving, 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 moving. moving. Yeah, a little bit of slow down here. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Ow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> ow! 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 Need to. Ow! You're gonna need to stick it in some ice. <laughs> I think so. Oh my goodness. After this, I'll be putting my computer together some more. Damn it! Ah, it only has room for three guys. <laughs> mm. I had four lives. I find the cavern part of this easier mm -hmm. mm. because they're confined. I always get, um, one of them smacks into me in this part, going up. Ah, yes. Every single time. Yes, that is hard because Every you can't time. shoot them because there's no room to shoot them. There's no room. You're not on the same level as them. But when you die and it restarts, it's, it's actually easier yeah, because you, a, you get some spot. distance to shoot them. It gives you a bit of a flat, a flat land ah, before you yes. start. So... It's kind of crazy, but it is actually easier. The game does have a little bit of mercy. <laughs> kind of. Unintentional mercy, I think. Yeah. I thought it'd be higher than that. The score at this point. Sometimes. I, I usually am, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Oh well. This is the easier. I don't know. I always die. I always hit. I always. They always hit me. These are like they go pink, and then they drop, yeah. and you just stay out of their way. There's a lot oh, of, was that? of oh, counter that. fire off of the ground. Come on, drop, drop, drop. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like their timing is is, is ah. terrible sometimes. You almost want to go faster through at certain points. I think. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Anything in the chat? What you want to do is stay ahead. Nope. My score. Just your score. Post. Oh! Terrible. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I did well. It was good. We're doing better. It's a great game. As we progress. It's a really fun game, actually. It is. It is addictive. You want to keep playing. Even with the poor, the poor um, Nintendo thumb. Yeah. This time, it's the Atari thumb. <laughs> Atari thumb. <laughs> Genesis, con Genesis controller yeah. on an Atari. So 30 points, 50. So when they're taking off, you do get more points. 150, 100. Mystery. Ah. So those do change from so 100 a, to 300. It's 100 if they're moving. And then... Those guys are hard. They should be more. Yeah. And, and mystery is 100 to 300. I've seen the range. Mm. Yeah. So... Oh, that cuts off things a little bit there. That's no good. What cut off? Oh, the um, the web camera in the corner there. Just there we go. There, I just need to adjust it on this screen so that it doesn't run into things. Just make it a little bit bigger there. There we go. Okay. So that was Super Cobra Arcade. We played it mm -hmm. before, but now we actually played it because I seem to remember playing it last time and doing not quite as good mm. as this time, obviously. 
And I'm pretty happy with my score of 25,770, which puts me right now in third-ish place. <laughs> um, and you got a really good score too. 19,680. I'm pretty happy with which that, puts actually. you what? Well, if, and it might have changed in the time we've been doing it. It could have, but as I'm of before the show. Fifth. Well, now you're ahead sixth. of me, so I'm in sixth. But One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. Sixth place, you're on the board. Yeah. That's good. I, I, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so next week, uh, or not next week, next show, which is going to be on Friday. Uh, I believe Darcy's going to be here. Excellent. Um, it's going to be four, four games. <clears throat> Sandcastles, which is a platform game. Mm -hmm. Very fun little platform game. Uh, Ram Pong, which is an interesting game. High score, screen burn, slow burn, <laughs> which is a bizarre game. Mm -hmm. And Man Goes Down, which is an amazing platformer game. Okay. Two player. So I could break out. I think, is it? No. I can't remember if it's two player or one player. It's at mm. least one player, obviously. Um, and uh, then Doodle Jump. A uh, brand new version of Doodle Jump not released. I'm going to be getting it from the um, programmer directly nice. before he releases it. Nice. Um, so that's next Wednesday. And maybe Anguna next, the Friday after that, we're going to do a complete 100% full playthrough of that game. Actually, continue off where we started because I got two out of the six keys. So we're doing pretty well hmm. way back. And I just have to look at the code on the screen. Um, so thanks everybody for tuning in this Wednesday and uh, make sure you like and follow and subscribe and all the things yeah. on Twitch and on YouTube and on Instagram and on Facebook, Facebook. Yes. and Twitter if you care, but it's, I don't type anything unique on Twitter. Um, <laughs> I like, I like Instagram for that kind of yeah. stuff better. Um, so follow and like so you know when shows are coming out and when I release things. Um, so, yeah, that would be awesome. So, yeah, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Um, I may or may not try again, depending on if people beat me, which they will for sure. They have 15 days to, what's the date today? 13, so. 13 days. Uh, 17, 17 or 18 days. How many days in June? Left in June? In June. 30? 30. Yeah. yeah, 30 days. So there's 17 more days for people to beat me. So they will. <laughs> They'll push me down now that they have more things to beat. Well, they have a pretty good second score that they have to go after. That's really high, 35. Mm -hmm. I think if I played this for a couple more hours... Probably. I could probably get <laughs> push mine higher close to that. Yeah. Because I'm starting to get better on the higher higher levels. Mm. So, um, yeah, so everybody tune in on Friday for more new games. So we will see you then. Yeah. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.